this is TMI. We're taking a look at Edo 2024, the impact or the effect or the implication of the court ruling uh, against, uh, okay, well, I say against, I say no, it's not against them. They're just saying that it's not part of the primary. It's getting a little bit confusing, but some are saying that it's not looking good for the candidacy of the PDP. Why PDP members are saying no, we don't say that. We are strong, we are firm, we are stable. Forget about not looking good. He remains our candidate. We are focused. Just, we know what we are what doing. You know, right now, over now to you. Now, uh, like, 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 like I said, like I said, you yes. see. It's taking almost the like I said, oh, Hold on, hold on. Like I said, you get to you your see, turn, don't worry. There is a judgment before you. You are a lawyer. Yes. You are trying to interpret the judgment mm. the way it suits you. The man in question, who even had for even attending that case, I have made the judgment. I am asking you, you have the judgment with you. We are on that judgment. That Aswe Udaro was mentioned, or PDP was mentioned, or the permanent was notified. Now, are you not saying that the man doesn't know what he's doing? All right. If, if you are giving a judgment, the man said, this three delegate allowed them. In the event of attacking that one, it should have also make a pronouncement. That is judgment. So what the man get, he just create a little, um, maybe, um, uh, leverage, or um, um, just, just make it open. He didn't make any pronouncement. It didn't stop the candidate. Okay, if you are the judge, what are you going to take to Anik? Hmm. Are you not going to tell Anik that uh, they said there's a judgment? The judgment did not say and nullify the election and nullify Sony Godaro and you're not going to, to, to infect it. No. So let us tell the people the right thing. Nobody will go to us and maybe ask through the back door. You must go through election. So if people are afraid of Aswani Gudaro because of his massive uh, popularity, you know what they will bring in court cases, it will not work, my brother. And though people are resolute, we are waiting on the 21st of uh, September, people will go to the street. Before 4 p.m., you are going to see what is going to happen. I'll come back so to you, Harris. We, we, we are very optimistic. Well, mm -hmm. he, he said that he still insists that never mentioned any of this. That he should bring the judgment. He should speak to the judgment. Calm down, calm not down, Not the technicality. Speak to the judgment. Calm down, Harrison. Mm. Let's, let's watch our emotions. Mm. Just, just calm down, please. Yeah. Calm down, okay? Now, let, let me come to you, St. Michael's. He, he said that, look, the judgment according to him has been taken by events. That these what are just distractions. What do you have to say about that? That uh -uh. it wouldn't hold water, it wouldn't hold sway. It has happened, it has happened. It's in the past. Mr. Wilson of Marshall, my friend Harrison is echo. It's obviously obviously speaking like a layman that he is. If I say a layman, if I say a layman, I mean he's not a lawyer. You choose to be a lawyer. He's not a lawyer. He's a layman. Michael, take exception to that. Michael, you owe Harrison an apology. Are you more together? Please apologize to me. I apologize if you feel insulted by what I've said. Let me show you my CV. But what I'm saying is that it is obvious he has not read the judgment. And uh, from what uh, Mr. A. in New Jersey is saying, from the way he's speaking, it is very, very obvious that that man has perused, you know, through the length and breadth of the document, the court document, which is the, the judgment itself. Now, what are the issues before the courts? Firstly, the um, defendants, raised an objection, preliminary objection, that the matter borders on internal affairs of the party, which have been resolved in a plethora of cases. Are you getting it now? Yeah. And the court disagreed with them. The court did not agree at all that the provision that provide for the internal affair of party. In other words, anything that falls within the internal affair of party, you know, can only be settled amongst members of party. The, that provision is section 84 subsection, you know, 14. Because that provision provides that if you are not an aspirant, you are stopped or prohibited, you know, from bringing an action in respect to the outcome of the process. The court said 
the matter before it is one that borders on internal democracy, which is provided for in section 228, paragraph A and B of the Constitution, as well as section 84, subsection 13, which is a you know a preceding provision to the one that they are amplifying and heavily rely on. You see, the court agreed, having looked at the evidence before it. The plaintiffs submitted the resource sheets that emanated from the World Congresses, which was admitted as exhibits before the court. And when the court critically examined the results, the court found out that those results were duly certified by the world, you know, returning officers, as well as the electoral officer that was appointed by the second defendant, which is PDP, you know, to superintend over the, the world congresses at the various wards. And the court said that those documents are credible and believable as against exhibit PDP-1, which was tendered by the second defendant. That the exhibit was full of discrepancies which made it difficult for the court you know, to believe the document that was submitted. Number one, exhibit PDP-1 contains a nomenclature that runs contrary to the guidelines that were set by it. Number two, the document itself was signed by only two officers of the party. The court now asked, where are the other officers? And some of the documents that form part of the body of the entire document were unsigned. Some were signed, some were not signed. And the court then concluded that in his mind, they want to, he wants to believe that this document was hastily fabricated for the purpose of this suit. Fabrication? Yes. That is so the court, I'm coming, I'm coming. Okay. Okay. And, 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 the the court, and the court now Tell disregarded that document. Okay. On the okay. basis of that, you are matching my talk. I have the floor. Allow me talk. Please, please, uncle. Ah, please, don't please, don't please, be. Uncle. Now, on the basis of that, the court now said that where people are complaining about unlawful exclusion in a process leading to the selection of a candidate of their party, these persons are not outsiders. They are also they are all members of the same party. You cannot say that they, they do not have rights to bring such action. They do not have right to seek re re redress simply because they are not aspirants. Because there is a principle of law that says that ubi Jews ibi remedion. Meaning? Where there is a right, there is a remedy. All right. Where people complain that they were unlawfully excluded from a process, they should be entitled to remedy. It was on that basis that the court nullified the process. Nullified. You know, <laughs> yes, the court nullified the primaries because the primaries is said, yes, no, the primaries because the primaries itself, the primaries itself is predicated on the Congress. I'll come back to you. It is the Congress that two of the candidates. You need to, we cannot put something upon nothing and, and expect it to stand. I will come back to you. Hold on, hold on. Harrison, use the word no. Harrison, Harrison, hold on. Was this stated on that? On that on Harrison, that, on that? no. Harrison, we are air. We are air. We are media person. You will have, have the right. Not right. To react. Hold on. You have right to react. Let me get straight from Germany. 
Let's get you straight down to, to, to Germany. Germany. You are totally right to the Germany. Arison, please. Let's get straight down to Germany. Let's get to hear what uh, uh, Benjamin Mayer have to say about this. Because right now, as it stands, it's like there's this confusion, so to speak, in trying to interpret the judgment. They are still maintaining their stance that, look, this is what it is. Let's hear from Benjamin that is in Germany. Let's get to what Benjamin have to say about this. Aston, yeah, let me in the name of the other guy who spoke last. I, I believe he's a, uh, I believe he's a barrister or a lawyer, the way they put it. Yeah, he's a legal I would practitioner. Like to have yeah. his name because okay, he's a legal practitioner. I would like to have his name because uh, he just made an allegation that um, that I see that his information is just to mislead the general public again. The, 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 the court judgment that we all saw on the national dailies is different from what he's saying. I think uh, the time has come for people to be held accountable of their guided statement and just publishing things on national dailies, just like what he's doing right now on the IT. We'll be asking him questions and we'll also be taking him accountable for his work that he just uh, been mentioned regarding the PDP primaries and those things. But that being said, that being said, um, you know, when you are in APC, even when you are a, uh, a professor, you are a doctor, your educational background no longer matters. What matters is that you want to defend the ideology of the APC uh, political party, which is understandable. I would like to say this. The PDP primaries was done in a very, very democratically manner, lawful and order. And the number that were called, like the delegate, uh, the supposed delegate that went to court, is something that we all can see down, actually look at ourselves. If it is not APC, or Labour Party trying to uh, sabotage the PDP primaries who produced this alien delegate to go to court based on the people who were not favored in the last primary election. All those things need to be all those things need to be settled up because the people that voted at the Bermudian Stadium on the primary on the twenty third on the twenty second of February, they are not alien. They are not they are not alien to the parties. They are well known. They are there on the street. they are there in the open place. They are there on the TV. So we know who they are. They were they were accredited delegates. So for this guy to come here on the national TV to tell us that those people are delegates and they are like us, they these people that voted for us, so they are not up to that five hundred or something. I think these people need to be legal, be, uh, uh, need, need to be legally uh, uh, sued so that they can clarify. Oh, what is going on. They also may mention no, that on, they are appealing the case. <laughs> Uh, Billy in Nigeria that will see this judgment and say, ah, let me just throw eyes. I've been in politics for for long enough to understand how the Nigerian politics operate. We are paying this case for all to have a clean file because we know what APC is capable of. We know what these other Ibnesede politi uh, political parties are capable of. We don't want a situation where Dr. Aswe will be in Osadebe Avenue trying to um, kick, kick starting the development of a dual state on the first day of assumption that will not see a court uh, proceeding going somewhere or people going to court basing their fat on that. That's the reason why we are going to court to uh, seek a redress at the appeal court. It's not because of uh, we are afraid or something. You know, it's only somebody that is lying, somebody who has no lead, who has no uh, right information that will be borrowing where somebody said somebody said that just to justify his uh, 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 his or her statement. As you see in that legal document tendered by the high by the federal high court in Abuja, I went through it back and forth. You no, know, the name of Dr. Asweri Odalo was not mentioned in that list. 
I think it's unfair. I think it's a criminal offense for somebody to come on national media and be mentioning that Dr. Asi Rodalo is being disqualified. See, we are not taking it lightly. It's the doctors and doctors in the diaspora for Dr. Asi Rodalo's campaign. We are taking this up. Those people that made the statement, the lawyer himself, and this guy in the studio, they will all be included <laughs> in that Suing everybody. We're doing this to stop this propaganda machine that you guys are. OK. Uh, 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 he's, 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 he's making his point. He's making his point. Now, now let, ending it oh, hold on. And, for, and that is what we want to do. All right, the Benjamin, I, I will come back to you, but come on, just a press a, a break on the suing thing, okay? We're here to discuss, to enlighten the public, okay? It's not for us to get personal or emotional. It's like you say your part, they say their part. I'm not emotional about, about, it. Discussion. Emotional about it, but the right information to be given. I'm not emotional about it. People who in national media and give out wrong information, they should be held accountable. Can okay, I'm waiting what? for your food. You know, I will come back you know to you. Emotional? I'll, I'll come back it's, to you, Benjamin. I'm waiting for your I'll, I'll come to, uh, uh, St. Michael's, please, please, hold on. I'll, I'll come back to you, Benjamin. Now, let's get to hear from Honorable Ehi, Ehariva. From what Benjamin said, he's alleging that this is like the voice of Jacob by the hands of Esau. He's alleging that the APC or the legacy PDP may just be the one trying to manipulate this process to edge out their candidate, thereby distracting the electorate from to really vote for. After all, for what he also said, that uh, some persons might just be afraid of the personality or the CV or criteria, so to speak, of Aswe Godalo. Uh, I've understood him very clearly, and uh, one thing stands out, uh, I believe, uh, maybe out of his busy schedule, he has not been able to read uh, thoroughly what the judgment is, or he has not, uh, maybe I haven't read, he was unable to decipher what the judgment said. And uh, if you will excuse me, I would like to read a part of the judgment to him and very clearly so that he can brief his lawyers about this part of the judgment. You know, maybe upon his understanding, uh, he may want to keep uh, some of his euros instead of using it for uh, a court judgment that is bound to fail. Now, delivering judgment in the suit on Thursday, the court observed that the primary failed, failed to comply with Section 82 of the Electoral Act 2022. The guidelines for the conduct of the pool and the Article 53 of the party's constitution. The man said the primary election failed and woefully to, to comply with the Electoral Act and the PDP Constitution. When, some, when you fail, what does that mean? If the party failed to comply with his own constitution his own, and the INEC and the INE guidelines, what does that tell you? That is the judgment I'm reading to you verbatim. And he went further. Justice Echo went further to say, after citing several judicial authorities, he said, it is mandatory, compulsory, for a political party such as the second respondent, that is the PDP, to comply with its own constitution, that it is compulsory. And he said before that it failed to comply with its own constitution. And he said it's compulsory. I don't know what else they need the judgment to explain. Then the man who understood the implication of the judgment, the chairman of the Edo State PDP Governorship Campaign Council, the Adamawa State Governor, Amadou Fintiri, said, yes, in his reaction, that he said this is a temporary setback. setback. He, so. he understood what he was saying. He said we would go to the RP, but he called it a temporary setback. He understood that it was a setback. That is a, a whole governor. That is the chairman of the PDP campaign council for those states. He understood it to that extent. And I also tell my brother, Honorable Izeko, that uh, I'm a member of the APC campaign council on the one hand and secondly uh one of the things that you will need in life is to travel a lot and educate yourself 
I'm speaking from the United States today. It's also possible that I may be in the UK tomorrow, like I was in Nigeria in the whole of February and March, and I'll be back again for the elections, just like I was there during the primaries. But that, because of political concern, don't mean I cannot pursue other interests globally. I appreciate you, my brother. All right, all right. I, I, I will come back to Honorable. <clears throat> I'll come back to, well, um, Honorable Harrison, he read part of the judgment. On the line failed, and uh, what Fintiri's reactions was like, temporary setback. Harris, I don't feel that, that, that is an issue here. <laughs> uh, I mean, from, from, from uh, all indication and observation, <laughs> don't you think that there is an issue here you, that you your guys, party should handle? Wait, you guys are thinking. No, no, from, from no, what he read. No, he is, 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 is only interpreting what he feels. When you say a judge make, he give a judgment. You don't give a judgment that have no direction. What was the judge, what was the conclusion of the judge? Did he say that based on this and this, PDP does not have a candidate in this election? Hold on. Wait, I'm coming. Ha I make replace him or remove him. That is what they call judgment. Harry. That for the fact that the, he, he, made, he, he, he made an explanation, he didn't make a proclamation, he didn't make a judgment. So what we are saying is this. Having said that, I started by saying that we know the judge. We are familiar with him. We know the cases that come from that judge. We know how he does his things. But the party on their own wisdom have already stand out to appeal the judgment. That means the judgment is that no, there is I, a I told fault you that in the primary. Me, and I said, can you that, listen? Hold on, hold on, please. Fitzgerald Fitzgerald is hold on. a personal statement. They are the one even told me. But the chairman you, of you, your you campaign. Chairman of campaign. Listen, 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 I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. I have the floor. Now allow me to, to, to sure, you present have the, the floor. Please. If the way, even me, I made so, such a statement. Yes. I said it's just a distraction. If people raise issues, uh, that's all matter. Just the same way he came up this morning to also ascertain his own make a statement that was not made by the judge himself. It's, 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 just, it's just a temporary um, setback, and the truth will always unveil at the end of the day. What we are telling them is that they should not interpret the judgment on their own. If the judge wanted to make such a, pro, a, pro, a pronunciation, he had the right to do it. He didn't, make so, he didn't speak to our candidate. He didn't say the, uh, the, the permanent election has been canceled on the file. So it is the but people to the party, the PDP, for what he read. Listen now, listen. If, are you not going to take that them a document that you go to INEC? What are you going to tell them? What are they going to infect? What is the statement? What is the judgment of the of, 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 of Justice Sekou? Okay, he, he, he was only working to suit those who through the back door pushed him to do what he was doing, and he also tried to be very careful to also stand on the part of ju justice. That's what he was doing. So what is he the was, party going to appeal right now? I'm telling you that we are appealing to set the record straight. That is the appeal. <laughs> we are appealing to set the record straight. Okay. Because if, 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 if a judge is making a proclamation or is making, giving a judgment, <laughs> you don't give judgment that is controversial. Judgment is judgment. Based on this, as you have claimed, that the problem didn't work, based on that, Dr. Aswe Rodalo is no longer the candidate, and next you do this and that. There was nothing like that. He didn't mention the name of our candidate. So on what basis are you trying to... Your technology is based on you. You are the one thinking like that. So for the fact that you are thinking this way, does not mean that every other person will think the same way you are thinking. So what I'm saying is this, I know people should be rest assured. I swear Igodaro is the best for this election. They are afraid. Oh, 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 no, Let no. me tell you, in the you last right hours, now. You are wait, campaigning right now. In the last and you know the, hours, the support we have actually Igodaro have gotten. Okay. You cannot even comprehend it. They are even selling the man the more. Okay. I Thank will you. continue to push him. Thank At the you. end of the day, Edo people will do the right thing. Thank you so so mm. much. And that is your last line in this discussion. I'm going to hear your last <laughs> line, Saint Michael's. But I'm going to ask you this question as you conclude as we conclude this segment. Your candidates have similar issue in court. There is an aspirant is suing, so to speak, about the same primaries. What if I adventure? Well, this, this, this is, hold on now. now. That this situation now happened in the case before the court. How would your candidates react to it? Or how would your party, rather, because I don't have a campaign right now, how would your party react to it? My party candidate is a seasoned uh, lawyer. He, he has had several positions you know, within our professional association. 
to the extent that he rose to the apex position and just said reaction to how is he going to take it mm. association he was he was the the president of we the know his antecedents how is he going to react to it so so certainly he is, a before. judgment yes. is given yes and it does not uh, favor him mm. he's going to comply we are not going to you know be like uh, you know the pdp who will come to the public and be shouting fire and brimstone mm. and even be indicting you know, the credibility of the judge who be, just simply because he gave a judgment is that is there for them. Was he not suspended? Right. Uh, 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 he has the flaw. How are you interjecting? He has the flaw. You are too emotional. You see, I like to correct an impression here. He keep referring to the presiding judge as uh, Justice Ekpo. His name is not Ekpo. Whichever name is being called is it's your Justice issue. Justice and Ekpo. Mm -hmm. Is your issue. But the member that he keep calling Ekpo shows that he has not even read the judgment. He didn't even read it. Thank you. 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 Thank by saying that the chairman of the PDP campaign council for Edo State already understand the import of the court judgment. And that was why he described it as a temporary setback. He said, but however, there is no need for his party members to panic that they are going to appeal the judgment. And that is how a civil person should speak and react. Thank you so, so much. Let's get to here. Benjamin, your last line on the discussion before calling to wrap on this segment. Uh, uh, Benjamin, quickly, what advice do you have for your party members? See a little bit agitated about this. Some don't really get the picture. Some are saying this is A or B or C. What do you have to say about this in summarizing your point in, on this discussion segment? I want to correct your impression. I want to correct a narrative that Mr. Wiss said. Yes. In PDP, we are not, um, there is no cause for alarm. In Dr. Aswe Wadalu's camp, there is no cause for alarm. We know what we're doing. We are focused. The word setback can mean so many things. A situation where I'm running, you are trying to talk behind me, is a distraction. And if I listen to you, it's a setback. And if I decide to focus and do what I'm doing, that is my focus and that is my goal. In PDP, like I said, you can see that we are not coming on social media to start strangling words with people because that is the propaganda machine that they put in place. And that is for that. I also want to all the people of Edo State to remain calm, especially the, the PDP and the Dr. Aswe Godalo supporters of the nation, the dear youth of Edo State, our mothers and our fathers, to remain calm. The man choosing by then will go to Sadi Bavin. There is no need for all those things. And those Thank people you. that have the Labour Party, hold on, hold on. Those people that have problems in the Labour Party and the APC, actually the ones in the APC that have already social media to tell, have already media to tell us what they want to do and what they don't want to do, they should be worried and worried about themselves. And they should leave Dr. Aswell for us alone. We know what we are doing. If you decided to interpret the court judgment in your own legal uh, understanding, let's get it to INEC and see how INEC is going to take it. That is not your own issues to take. Like I said, we are appealing this case for APC and Labour Party will not have an access to use it later when, when uh, Dr. Aswe Udalo gets to Sadi Thank you yes, so much, Benjamin. Thank you. Thank you so much. Now, let's get to hear from Honorable Ehi Egariva. Your last line on this discussion segment. Don't forget that we have another discussion segment after this discussion segment. So, what advice do you have for the process involved? Well, from uh, the desk of my own uh, candidates, you know, uh, Senator Monday Pevolo, who, of course. We're not yet to campaign, the highest, please. There's a reason for that. Okay, I I'm just talking about the highest elected. Uh, political figure from the whole of Edo Central only just yes, uh, last year. And uh, what I'm saying here is that this is a simple matter. A lot of people have uh, said, especially the gentleman from uh, PDP, they have said that uh, Aswe Udalo Esquire's name was not mentioned. 
But what they need to take home and consider very seriously is the fact that INEC was the first defendant in this matter. I've said that whatever decision was taken by the court, they, they were banned by it. And what was the, the, the cross of the decision that was taken by the court? The court said the primaries that you supervised did not comply, failed to comply with the constitutional provision, the constitution of Nigeria, the Electoral Act, and also fail to comply with your own constitution as a political party. Those are the two things they ought to take home and worry about. So while we are campaigning, they can be trying to resolve those issues if they can. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so, so much, gentlemen. Well, uh, it's like an uneasy camp right now in the studio. I don't know. Uh, both men should please, they are brothers. I don't know how come poli you have police like you to know, create this barrier uh, uh, amongst you. Well, you've heard my analysts, they've spoken their mind. The reason why I choose to make it two to two is that it's that not a feel that uh, maybe two parties are like you know fighting against one party, have to make it like you know two to two because it's almost the same thing to create a balance in this discussion. Well, the parties involved, you know what to do. If it's not looking good, you have to make it look good. If it's looking good, you have to make it look better. Because at those things they say, it's for all of us. Whoever, whatever you feel that may impede you from attaining that position, you have to go appeal. You have to fight it. You have to remove that stumbling block or the temporary setback. Mind you, the opinions you heard from my analysts is the opinion. It has nothing to do with IDV.